Hi, my name's Alana Joins, and we're going to be on the online prosperity show where I'm going to be sharing with you the latest social media tips to help you with your business. And Prosper will be giving you some great advice along the way as well. So looking forward to it. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, we've got Alana. Alana, how are you doing, my love? Good. How are you? Fantastic. Now, thank you so much for taking your time on a Monday morning like this. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this show right now, first of all, I want that you subscribe to this show because every day we bring in experts like Alana to help us so that we have businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Now, Alana has her expertise in social media management, and she works with a team of people that also help small businesses like yours with your marketing, your SEO, and also website development. But today, we're going to be dwelling a whole lot more about social media and how Alana can be the next uh, champion to your business so that you get a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, Alana, tell us a little bit about you and how you started, um, you know, with your mission to become the social media queen. So I always, um, from when I started working, actually, I always wanted to help businesses. Uh, so first of all, I got into accounting because I thought that would be the best way. I always wanted to help businesses grow specifically. Um, and so I got into accounting first, but I found that it wasn't because I had such a creative side, it wasn't really allowing me to do that. Um, and the other problem was a lot of businesses don't really, they'll deal with their accountant once a year. So you don't get to build that ongoing relationship, which was really important to me as well. So then I discovered the marketing myself through doing it. Um, a friend asked me to help him out with it. So I did it for him and it did really well. Um, and then the passion just grew from, I found that it was what I was passionate about. Um, and I just, it just grew from there. So that's where it started. Um, so I've been doing it for about four years now. And I've had my own business for about two, one and a half to two, yeah. Understandable. Well, thank you so much for that. Obviously, with accounting, you wouldn't have gone far because it's numbers and numbers are boring. All right. And <laughs> you asked Yeah, it was a little bit. Correct stuff. Yeah, no, you, you, and there's so many rules, and and so a lot of it is um, it's limited. Well, not limited thinking, but there's just rules, and that's it. Where I like to sort of think of different ways. So it was blocking all of that. <laughs> understandable. You did mention and raised a valid point in regards to building relationships. How important is it for business people to actually build relationships either with their customers or with their suppliers, um, you know, with people like yourself? I think it's, it's vital. It's one of the most important things. And unfortunately with the social side, particularly people forget about it a little bit. Like they'll, they'll forget that even though it's a social platform, you've still got to actually interact. Um, and it's important to provide what people are looking for and not use it as just the broadcasting yourself channel. So it's definitely, it's vital to building a long-term business. It's really important. Understandable. So you are referring to using social media in and of itself as an interaction between the customers. Is it not just, yeah. there, is it not just there for businesses to let, um, you know, their potential clients know what it is that they offer? They can, but I think it needs to be a bit of both. Like it needs, there's, there's a, a rule in marketing called the 80, 20 rule. And it should be that 80% of the time you're adding value and 20% of the time you're promoting yourself. Unfortunately, most people do it the wrong way. They'll do 80% promoting themselves and only 20% adding value. And the problem with that is they often see that their page will have a really good spike in the beginning, but then it will drop because people get sick of seeing the same thing over and over again. Where I find if you're responding to what people are looking for, then you're adjusting as time goes along so it keeps them interested and it keeps them engaged. Understandable. Well, engagement is one of those things that we are all seeking for while we go yeah. online because there's nothing, you know, painful as putting out a post and then all you hear is crickets. Um, nobody coming through and, and, you know, liking, commenting or sharing your stuff. Now you did mention a really, yeah. a really important, um, aspect about marketing, which is the 80, 20, uh, principle, which 
literally you can use with everything else, but then you, you dwelt on value as much. How do you know as a business person that what you're putting out there is valuable to your prospects? I think the best way, um, I'm a big advocate of feedback. So getting feedback from clients, you'll get feedback on social platforms because you'll get people responding um, and just seeing how they're reacting to it. Uh, it's hard, a bit hard with likes because you don't know, it doesn't really give you a lot. Um, but I mean, if they're liking it still, it's, it's usually popular. Uh, but yeah, I find the reactions, um, we use analytics as well. So we analyze the engagement of each post, um, which is a really good way to see what people are liking and also testing ads. So if, if you're doing ads in particular, you can try um, two or three at the same time and see which, so you might have two or three different pieces of content and see which one gets the most reactions and then build off that. Um, so that's another thing that can help work out what specifically people are interested in. Great stuff. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but as a small business person, a lot of people don't know, um, you know, if they're tweeting or they're pinning or they're Facebook yeah. or they're Instagramming or they're, um, you know, you know, linkedin or youtube -ing. it gets a bit overwhelming. What's your advice to people when it comes to platform selection and, you know, like what you say, building relationships and actually providing value and not spreading themselves? I'm really fine choosing two to three. Um, two usually is fine unless it's a business where you're going to do video, then you'll need YouTube. A video is part of it. YouTube is really good. But I generally find if it's professional-based or service-based, um, Facebook and LinkedIn are important. Um, if it's product-based or like a wedding store, those sort of businesses, Instagram and Facebook. Um, and then if they want to use LinkedIn, they can. But Instagram can be great for sharing a lot of pictures of the dresses and so for wedding businesses. So it really depends on what industry they're in um, with the business as to which I would recommend. But definitely no more than two to three because there are people that try and do all of them. Um, and the reality is unless you're hiring people, you can't manage all of them properly. Great stuff. So obviously you don't want to spread yourself too thin, as you say. And exactly. You've got to be giving value in every one of those platforms. Is there a specific yeah. frame of mind that people got to go in with this or do you just post and hope for likes? Um. I think it's important to be consistent and not expect results too quickly. Um, a lot of people think that they're just going to set up a page and it's going to be instant traction, but usually there's a process and it starts with awareness and then it, it moves into curiosity and then they'll connect with you. So it can be a little bit of a process So patience and consistency are really important and they, the stats now show that people, a couple of years ago, people would look at seven or so pieces of your content before they would interact. And now because there's so much content, it's roughly 20. So they will take a bit longer and they'll analyze a bit more now because there's so much choice. So does that mean I can just post 20 posts today and then obviously I've covered everybody's content appetite right there? No, not really, because they, it'll have to relate to them specifically. So it can take time. Like it can, sometimes it's even a few months before it picks up. Um, and other times there's been small businesses that I've worked with that they haven't, people haven't necessarily interacted online, but when they've booked and the business owners started chatting to them, they said to them, I've been watching your videos for the last three months. So it's not always online results. Sometimes it can be phone calls, bookings um, that come from it as well. Well, obviously what you're saying there is people need to know, like, and trust you before they actually do yeah. eventually engage with your stuff. So it used to be six touch points. Like you said, I remember McDonald's and Coca-Cola would advertise six or seven times for somebody to go and buy yeah. a Big Mac. So obviously, um, as you are saying, people now need to be out there, but also not spreading themselves too thin and providing as much value as they can, um, you know, utilizing the 80-20 principle of, you know, yeah. not, not really uh, putting, you know, much about themselves, but, you know, helping customers by actually helping them. Now, obviously, you've given a lot of value on this show right now there, Alana, and some people are probably watching and um, you know, sitting at the edge of their seat, hoping you could also help them now to figure out their yeah. marketing. How can people get a hold of you? 
Sure. So they can either contact me through my page, um, which is Alana Joins Consultant, or they can give me a call on my mobile, which is 0455021015. Great stuff. Good stuff. I will be putting in your details in the show notes there so that, um, you know, people can get a hold of you there. Now, obviously we're getting into a new year. Social media is changing by the day. You did mention that there was this six uh, times that people needed to see, but now it's gone up to 20. Is there any sort of projections or advice or tidbits that you can leave us with, you know, to look out for in 2018? Yeah. So the main one that I would recommend is um, Facebook is planning on becoming a broadcasting channel. So um, they want to be able to have news um, and they're very heavily moving into video. So businesses really need to be getting on top of the video content, uh, using video as a platform and comfortable with it um, because the reach is also a lot better on your page if you use video as opposed to um, words. The other thing with Facebook that's changing is they're now – you, it's best to have no text at all in the photos um, because they do go further. Um, and also for next year, it's really just going to be about adding the value. So there's been a lot of Facebook updates this year which have been aimed at reducing spam. Um, so it's really important that the language is correct that you're using in your ads um, and also just maintaining the value. And the other thing that they've started to look at is um, – the amount of people engaging as opposed to how many are on your page. So when people are buying likes and making their page look like it's got way more than what it does, it should have or are actual relevant customers, now it can actually penalise them um, because Facebook looks at at that as a metric um, with advertising and how far the ads will go. So it's really important to do things properly, uh, even if it takes a little bit longer. Understandable. So Rome wasn't built in a day, right? Is exactly. You are saying right yeah. there. And um, it does take 21 years to be actually 21 years old. So if you're not putting out the content there, if you're not actually engaging with your audience and if you're not putting out the value, not a lot of people are going to know you, like you and trust you. Exactly. No. And, and my advice is um, to people that are starting out, just give it a, give it a go. Like don't wait for the perfect opportunity because people just want to get to know you they don't you know the more authentic it is if you're a small business owner chances are they're going to meet you anyway so just be authentic and give it a go understandable well i can't thank you enough for the value time and expertise you've laid down on this show today and like you said 2018 is all going to be about video so i really commend you for showing up on this video with us today yeah thank you no it's awesome so that we create so that we create content that would be helpful for those people that want to um, have businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. And if, exactly. you're watching, if you're watching this show right now, obviously you would see that every single time we're bringing in experts like Alana that know a thing or two that you might not have been aware of. And I will be putting in Alana's um, contact details in the bottom so that you will be in touch with her and figure out how, how she too can help you with your social media Because what me and Alana want is that your business prospers. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching this.